glucose has been selected over the eons of years to be important as not only an energy source, but also as the building block for a cell to go from one to two. Our findings focus in on a process that goes back about a billion years ago when there were these microbes and there was no oxygen in the atmosphere. And the only way that these microbes could survive is by using glucose in a, in a process called glycolysis or glycolysis. It comes from the Greek meaning breakdown of sugar. Glyco meaning sugar or sweet and lysis meaning breakdown. Now we take that, that process that has survived as he survived for a billion years and bring it to cancer. And we bring it right into the middle of a tumor cell, in the inner core part of the tumor cell, where those cells that are residing there are not getting enough oxygen. So what we're doing is we're taking advantage of something so basic and so fundamental it survived for a billion years. And what we're doing is using a compound called 2-deoxyglucose to actually get into those hypoxic cells. And because they depend solely on glucose for survival, we're literally starving them to death. And by blocking this process of glycolysis with 2-DG, we've been successful not only in showing it in the lab in three different models, but we've done it in animals. And now we've gone to a clinical trial. So I think we're very close to the next step of actually using this drug to make a significant impact in cancer chemotherapy.